So, all right. Today we're talking about MGTOW. I'm not sure if anyone has really heard about this movement, but it's pretty popular now, especially amongst men. Maybe they don't know it necessarily by the terminology used, but they will probably know about the behavior and they will emulate some of the same behavior that MGTOW is. So beware of MGTOW men. That's what we're going to title this video. So let's go and look at the definition of MGTOW. All right. Now, I don't necessarily agree with this definition, but this will kind of give you an overview of what I'm talking about. So going on Google, men going their own way, MGTOW, is an anti-feminist, misogynistic, mostly online community advocating for men to separate themselves from women and from a society which they believe has been destroyed by feminism. Okay, here's what I agree with the definition, here's what I don't agree with. Feminism has done a lot of um, bad things to our, our communities, bad things to our social dynamics between men and women. It has done a lot of bad things in the, in the concept of uh, famil family. It has done a lot of bad things in terms of the mentality. There's a level of toxicity to feminism. But I'm not going to throw it all away. Now, what I, what I don't agree with is that men going their own way is an ant it is anti-feminist for sure but it's not misogynistic so looking up well you know what? i'm not even really going to get into the definitions so I'll, I'll give you my definition of migtown migtown it is yes understanding that feminism has had a negative impact on our society especially when it comes to the dynamic between men and women and how women tend to mistreat men with the uh when they have feminism in their mind, when they're using feminist behaviors or feminist tactics, yes, that that is has a that does have a negative impact on men and society as a whole. So a man who is wary of that, he doesn't have to be a MGTOW person. But basically the concept is I'm gonna go my own way. I'm gonna do my own thing. I'm not really going to focus on relationships, I'm not gonna focus on commitment, I'm not gonna focus on labels. I'm just going to do whatever I want. So it is kind of I'm going to develop relationships now between myself and women where I can garner some type of uh, advantage over them. And that is basically how MGTOW plays out. So yeah, there's there's theories and there's philosophical concepts behind it, but a lot of times the way it's practiced is how I'm about to show you now. So how you can recognize somewhat a MGTOW man, or at least a man who's using those same behaviors, is a man who has game. Game is kind of how I would define it is a series of uh, practices that he uses to kind of woo a woman. Now, game isn't bad in itself, but this is just something that a MGTOW man would have, at least if he's a lot more developed in his um, MGTOW philosophy. Another one would be, uh, he doesn't like commitment. So, a lot of these tropes or these behaviors that men are doing, MGTOW kind of encapsulates them. And... He has a game. He does not want to commit. What's another one? He believes in having multiple partners. Because he doesn't because he doesn't want to commit, he has multiple partners, right? Uh, <clears throat> what else? Um, doesn't... Okay. Absolutely no marriage. A lot of MGTOW men are not going to be for marriage at all. They're going to think that it's a scam. They're going to think that it's a worthless piece of paper. They're going to think that it's dumb to label, you know, a lifelong commitment as marriage. You don't, shouldn't want to get the government involved. I understand there's some arguments to be made that way. So, okay, beware of the MGTOW man. Why should you be aware of the MGTOW man as a woman? Because if you're trying to protect your heart, if you're trying to make sure that you guys are equally getting a, a good bargain you are going to want a relationship. You're going to eventually want marriage. You're eventually going to want to settle down. You want an exclusive relationship. But MGTOW will always press for non-exclusivity. They will always press for um, both parties being able to be disloyal, or at least him being able to be disloyal. So he doesn't... No strings attached, basically. So he wants all the, all the perks of having the car without actually owning the car. He wants to be able to return the car, i.e. your relationship, i.e. your body, i.e. your heart, at any given moment. There, there could be no contract, there could be no commitment, there could be no labels, no boyfriend, no no husband, there cannot be that. So the MGTOW man, and the way I see it now, is how it's developed, it is the modern man. 
The modern man does not want relationships. The modern man only wants maybe a situationship, a friendship with benefits. He doesn't want a relationship where there's labels. And the reason why is because he doesn't want accountability. Now, a lot of men might argue with me and say, oh, it's not that. But generally, that is exactly what it is. Because if I'm not committing to you, therefore, I'm not responsible to you. Therefore, I'm not accountable to you. Therefore, I can do whatever I want. <clears throat> MGTOW is actually a way for most men to just be not faithful. Most men, most men to, because of non, the, non, the non-labels and the inexclusivity, the unexclusivity, or however, however you call it, being non-exclusive, he gets to be unfaithful. Given that there's no labels, there's no contract, there are no terms. Therefore, I can do whatever I want. So this generally means friends with benefits, no marriage, open relationships, multiple partners, and you have to deal with this. But I'm, I'm trying to let you know that there are certain signs you should look out for when you find a man like this. First of all, he's very uh, smooth and he's very charming. Nextly, he wants to move the relationship very fast, meaning... He wants you on your back as fast as possible. He also, after that, will not want to label things. Sometimes he'll ghost you. Sometimes he'll barely text you. Sometimes he'll pepper in and out some of his text messages. He will be hot and cold. There will be no warm to him. It'll just be generally, okay, how come he's talking to me now? But back then he, 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 he wasn't. How come he has he? Okay, another thing. He'll respond to your text messages kind of very spaced out apart. See, when you guys are having conversations, they're going to seem like they're, le- they're letters now They're because you have to wait so much time to hear back from him. He's going to act like he's busy. Now, I'm not saying all men who act like they're busy are actually not, and they're lying, but sometimes, generally, that is a thing in game, is that we have been taught as men that in order to <clears throat> keep a woman's interest, you have to act uninterested yourself. So that's another attack. So that's another thing. So let me let me go let me go do the steps. How do you how do I identify how do you identify a MGTOW man? He's charming. He wants to move things very fast. He's hot and he's cold. Okay. And he does not want labels. All these three all these three things, they can kind of give you an idea and you can kind of gauge what his next move is going to be. And the next move is relationship limbo. He is going to want you in the same spot. He wants to get whatever he wants to get out of you, but he doesn't necessarily want to give you anything in return. Sure, he might take you out on dates, and if he has money, it might be easy for him to do so, whether they're expensive or not. He will give you all the amenities and the material aspects of a relationship in dating, and then he'll give you the sexual aspects in intimacy and in romance, but he does not want any commitment. See... I know this person because I used to be this person. I know this person because I used to be befriended and I used to be surrounded by this type of people. I know these people. I know this type of person because I've studied and I have actually, I used to be this type of person. So I'm trying to warn you because as a woman, now that I understand generally how a woman is, at least in some regards, Women don't want open relationships. Women want exclusive, monogamous relationships. Women want to grow old together. They want to die together. They want to have kids. They want to settle down. They want stability, not just financially, but emotionally. But a MGTOW man will always have a woman feeling emotionally insecure. She will always feel insecure about where she stands with that man. She will always feel unsure about the future between him and her. But this creates a... Uh, an effect to where the woman becomes hyper attached to this man because of the roller coaster that has been created. And what I'm trying to explain to you guys is this MGTOW man, the mature MGTOW man, he knows exactly what he's doing. He knows how to use his charm. He knows how to use a woman's hypergamous nature sometimes, you know, being material and always wanting to, you know, trade up. He knows how to use all of the woman's um, propensities to a man against her. And I'm trying to warn you guys, like, you guys don't know what you're dealing with now. The new man is going to ruin your heart. The new man is going to ruin your body. The The new man is going to ruin your spirit. 
this is why you have to watch out for this. So generally, I'm, I'm, I'm making this video to warn you. And the concepts, I haven't really been able to really um, iron down to make it clear to you. And I'm going to try and um, do that in the future. But I'm just trying to explain to you that you need to be aware of this type of man because this he's going to seem like everything you need. But if you let him in, in terms of intimacy and opening your heart, he will ruin you because men, <laughs> we're a different breed from y'all. We, we're not the same like you guys. We are killers. We are trained killers. We are almost in a way born to kill people. We are, we go to war. We have all these jobs that require us to set aside our empathy and our compassion to get the job done. We are highly competitive. We are aggressive. These are not traits that women have. I'm sorry. I mean, I'm not trying to divert in topic here, but I'm just trying to make a case that you're dealing with a different animal when you're dealing with men. So you need to be very careful in how you interact with us because even though we have our own best interests in mind, we can make you feel like, oh, we care about you. We can make you feel good. We can make you think that everything is okay right before the bait and switch. So um, I'll probably make another video about this in the future. I know that I know that I know the um, the points and the concepts are not really that um, cohesive right now, but bear with me because I'm going to be going more into this in the future. So the homework for y'all, if I if I could think of some at the moment, it would be this: stay off your back, stay out of the bed, keep your legs closed. Don't rush things too fast. I mean, as a Christian, I would say wait till marriage, but if you can't. Hold off as long as possible. This is the kryptonite to mostly any man out there. The player, the MGTOW man, all these men who are after you. You will weed most of them out if you don't sleep with them. I'm telling you. So if your homework, your homework would be this. Do not sleep with anyone. If you meet somebody, do not sleep with them. They'll just leave. If you're not putting out, they're going to leave. And that's how you weed out most of the men who are manipulative, most of the men who are, who don't have your best interests in mind, most of the men who are actually going to hurt you in the future. That's how you weed out most of these men. So I'll probably make another video um, going more into um, the effects of MGTOW. <laughs> some of its benefits, some of its uh, problems. But it's in your best interest to watch these videos, women and men. But especially women, because you need to know what you're dealing with now, the new modern man. So, that's all I got to say for now. Peace.